Hi everyone, my name is Jolie and I'm known as Asperger World. Today I wanted to maybe challenge some misconceptions of autism by talking about empathy and how as an autistic person I believe I actually have a lot of empathy. <laughs> So, I believe that our minds, as autistic people, our minds work too well and we process more data, data than other people, so much so that we have a constant mental overload and that sometimes we might need to try and switch off both physically, mentally and emotionally so that we shut down. In other words, we have an overwhelming amount of empathy, so much so that we have to switch it off and some of our other capabilities in order to cope. If I believe that if we are in a situation where, where we are not overwhelmed, where we are not stressed or pressured, where we are empowered, we may be able to actually showcase our empathy in a way that more people can understand. And I think this is quite a, the key component to understanding empathy and autisms because we do showcase empathy, but we just showcase empathy in a way that a lot of people don't really understand as having empathy. So as an example, when I was a child, my mum used to sigh heavily as she dropped onto the sofa, exhausted. Somebody give me strength, she'd say, exasperated. And I used to go up to her and pretend to inject her with strength <laughs> because I wanted her to feel better. I couldn't work out how else to help other than literally try and do what she needed by giving her strength. And it would come from this innate feeling of anxiety and exhaustion that I could, I could see the pain she was in and I could feel it and it would burn my skin and it would overload me and it would be so much so that sometimes I didn't know how to handle that. So I would do the literal thing as literally as I could, following what she asked me to do and giving her strength. Or I would run off and hide, often ignoring the person, because in the past I had been taught from a negative self-fulfilling prophecy, which I can talk about in another video if you're interested. But yeah, if because in the past I had been taught from a negative self-fulfilling prophecy that my presence usually made things worse or harder for someone. And that became my go-to action to, or to best help others because I could feel their pain and so much and I knew that I wanted to help. A lot of the time our behaviours regarding empathy got judged as selfishness or not being empathetic but this is not true. Certainly it wasn't true for me. Additionally, other people's emotional distress is just as distressing for us as autistic people simply because of how traumatising or upsetting or unjustified their situation is and because of our innate need for justice, truth and structure. And this means that autistic people do actually care very deeply with so much concern and love and justice seeking that if they can they will always try to help and do the right thing. It's not always our fault that sometimes we can't showcase this empathy that we feel in a way that other people can understand. Sometimes it's simply just a case of working out what behaviours are actually a unique showcase of empathy.